This is Singapore Tonight. Good evening, I'm Oteli Edwards. Tonight's top stories. A warning, inflation will likely rise in the next few months. The government says it will help Singaporeans overcome higher costs. Easing inmates back into society. A new scheme will give them access to educational and training activities in a community. Singapore is open to the idea of a cohort smoking ban. It plans to study how New Zealand is implementing a similar ban. Police arrest a 61-year-old man seen driving his Bentley in the path of a security officer in a primary school. And long queues across the island at bank branches and ATMs on the first day of collection of new notes for Chinese New Year. I'm Dawn Tan. Also tonight, China orders millions more people into lockdown as Omicron spreads. A handful of cases in Anyang have been linked to the growing cluster in Tianjin. Hong Kong shuts schools and considers tightening border curbs in a bid to stem the COVID-19 tide. I'm Elizabeth Neo with your Asia Business Update. A new option to facilitate the transfer of Singapore's foreign reserves to the government for longer-term investments. Well, Singapore's financial sector development fund gets a new option to generate more income to grow the industry. Singapore's inflation will likely increase in the next few months before easing later this year. The government says it's committed to help Singaporeans overcome higher costs, and this includes targeted help for vulnerable groups. But a GST hike is still on the cards. Neil Rongwei has more. <laughs> 